Hello and welcome back to Star Wars Galaxy Imperial Theory the Grand Arena. Let's start off the final week. My first opponent is Georgie Boy. They are from the Senate Mandalore. They have 680,000 legacy score. They got 10.1 million GP, so less GP than me, and also uh, a lot less Datacrons. And you'll see Grievous is on defense out front now. And you know, Aiden, Qui Gon. So I'm trying to figure out what in the world is underneath my desk. I was moving. A uh, weird dash team, Greed, and like I said, Grievous, obviously. And I don't think I changed anything down south. Like, I know there's. Oh no, I did a weird split with Maul, Rex, then with Holdo, uh, Ray, with the Raycron, and then Lord Vader. We'll see if that trips him up any. Because I don't imagine it will stay the same throughout the week. But. Georgie here. As Maul, a uh, Hera team with Omni, uh, Old Man Rex, Captain Rex, CLS, Qui-Gon, Phasma, and you'll be noticing a distinct lack of Datacrons, and that's because he doesn't have a lot of Datacrons. Um, and Jabba, Adrad, Leia, Mon Mothma, Rey, so a very distinctive lack of, like I said, Datacrons to um, worry as much about. And obviously with, you know, oh, I think I put Leia in the back zone, but whatever. Uh... Jabba here has, wow, 80% health steal, star protection up, crit chance, all the other fun hoopla. But yeah, I'll probably be like rearranging my defenses constantly against this final week of people, so that way I have a decent-ish variety of um of uh, teams available. And yeah. And CG, you know, the day of this recording, Wednesday evening, they posted the Q&As for the fan, uh, for links, you know, um, and oh my god, they're trying to justify, they're like, ah, well the Gungans all have datacons for every other game mode, so we wanted it to, we wanted the Phalanx to have, you know, we wanted every game mode to have one. They're like, we focus on four game modes, you know, Territory War, Territory Battle, Conquest, and uh grand arena obviously sort of like hmm well you know what's a good next step let's go and make people you know work on not work on but have a, a omni for galactic challenges bro their their answers to some of those questions are a bit silly but you know it's just them trying to justify creating a galactic challenge omni it's kind of kind of cringe I mean, it is good on them for actually, you know, putting in questions that pertained to the Omni. Because I imagine they had a lot of questions for that Q&A about the Omicron. Um, so, at least they actually, you know, had the cojones to uh, actually... I keep saying actually, but, you know, they had the cojones to, you know, answer some of those questions. Sometimes they just flat out ignore our questions about that issue, or not issue, but like those topics, like where we don't like where they were going with like one thing or another with characters and all that. And, you know, yeah, at least they felt the desire to respond to us for once in their lives. And then Leia obviously has no Datacron, no Ami on uh, Drogon, luckily, so that'll make things a little, a little better. He's also Relic 7 instead of Relic 8, so we will take that. Alright, let's do this. Uh, let's do that. Uh, bada bop. And bada boom. Oof da. Was not honestly. Okay, well, with no data chrono, it makes sense that they all died to the AoE, or both died, because. Um. Yeah. Without extra stats boosting them up, they're not exactly going to be much usage to Leia alive. Alright, let's do that. Yay! Um... Ray... Okay, so Ray has the stacking offense and speed. Or, an extra... I almost said 43. Almost, an extra 54% 
protection, uh, a little bit of offense, accuracy, crit chance, but they also have to maneuver to quickly hit the game, the crit chance, and uh, critical avoidance. I couldn't think of the word for a second. Oh, and also, uh, you know, at the time of this recording, STAP is finally available to be farmed. Of course, um, however, there's a massive caveat to that. Um, he is farmable on a Cantina node. So, I mean, yeah, that makes it a little quicker to farm. However, that also takes away from people's relic mat farming. So, um, you know, make of that as you will. I'm not saying it's a good thing, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but, you know, I guess it's acceptable. Uh, let's get rid of those buffs. We really need to get, there we go. I was say, really need to get debuffs on Ray there. Uh, let's keep hitting Ray. Uh, there we go. Let's hit JTR before she starts stacking up that mastery. Or, I guess we won't hit her at all because she's already starting to stack ridiculous amounts of deflection and dodge, or whatever she gets boosted on her. Well, she can't necessarily dodge if she's stunned, luckily, so... Um, let's hit Big Ray for a second, so that way we make sure she has some sort of debuff on her whenever she goes into ult. Okay. Um, let's just keep it in here. Oh, it's not gonna kill anyone. I think bringing down the star story was extremely tempting, though. Um, mm, yeah, let's hit Reagan. Now, the issue is, I, whenever I bring down the star destroyer, um, Alpatine won't be healed. Unfortunately. So. Oh well. But Ben is dead. Ray is dead. And JTR is dead. So. It wasn't max banners, but it was better than nothing. Hmm. Okay. So the Adrat team. Wow. Has extra crit damage, crit avoidance, and deflection. Uh, dispel chance on them. Debuff dispel chance on himself. Uh. 50%. Whenever you drop below 50% health, they reduce the cooldowns by 1, gain TM, and Jin has the stacking stats across the board. I also don't remember if I still have the... Oh no, I don't have him. I couldn't remember if I had the Mando Kron or not. On offense or defense, may have gone on defense with the team. I legitimately do not remember. So, yeah. Let's see how the bounty hunters fare. I'm just trying to see what I can get away with, basically. Or at least we can hit Jin. Uh, let's do this. Oh wait, crap. I didn't see that it moved over to him. Uh, okay, it's not good. Okay, uh, boom, uh, let's get rid of that, let's get some protection, not protection, at least a ton up, and protection back up, now we'll go for Jin. Oof, that could've been, that could've been horrible. And goodbye Cassie. Okay. So Mon Mothma has crit avoidance, resistance, crit damage, chance to dispel debuffs on himself, stacking offense. One of the critically hit people. Um, we're gonna go old school with the Sith trio here. That's not a Sith trio. <laughs> not Sith trooper. Uh, we're going old school, like I said, with the Sith trio. Mostly because why not? I mean, hmm. yeah, sure, why not? I do have Nihilus, Treya, and then Talon. Yeah, those were the last three Sith I don't have. Uh, I have them favorited finally to 
gets pushed up to Relic uh, 7. Because they are literally the only three I do not have. Relic 7 or higher. So. Don't know when that'll be done because I just got uh, Bam pushed up to Relic 7 for uh, focus on Mandalore. I'm still working on the Night Sisters. So. Really haven't made up my mind on when those three will be worked on. Probably soon. Because depends on raid rewards and all that to help me with uh, the mats for um, the Electrum Conductors. I'm like, what are they called again? <laughs> Good lord, Kyle. You don't need to keep hitting a uh, tray that hard, bro. Now uh, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, only one cooldown increased. Well, I didn't do diddly squat. Let's see what this does. Diddly squat. Okay, Kyle, you're really starting to annoy me. Oh no, now your damage dealer is gone. What are you going to do, Mon? And your tank is unable to taunt? Oh no, what a crying shame. I mean, I'm not going to get max banners, obviously, because we don't have Savage here helping with the protection recovery, but... You know. Okay. Um, Afro, where are you? Uh, do, uh, droids? I'm like... Alright. Okie dokie. Go ahead and increase cooldowns on Resistance Hero Finn. Do this. Do that. Do that. Oh, OG Finn doesn't even have his Zeta. Didn't they have to refund his Zeta all that time ago for some reason or another? I don't remember what the reason was, but I know I vaguely remember that CG refunded his Zeta. For some reason or another, but I don't remember why. Honestly, cannot remember for the life of me. Someone can let me know in the comments why it was. That'd be extremely beneficial because I would like to remember, but I just cannot remember why. Why um they did it, you know. Uh sure, why not? I still need to really work up Wampa's mods as well. So I have a lot I need to work on mod wise. So much to do. Mods, mods, mods are always a thing to work on. Thank you, Nisa, for taking your arbitrary 17 turns in a row. <laughs> and by thank you, I mean, please stop. <laughs> Let's go ahead and roll again. I do nothing. You see, I don't have four sight. I mean, it wasn't going to do anything, anyways. So. Well, at least she died to the dots before she could do anything, but like, absolutely silly. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to go with that. Let's go beat up some Mandos. I know I did, like I know I showcased my defenses with like Maul split off from Raider, but I was just there just to see what it does kind of deal, you know. I'm not expecting much, but if it holds or does or pulls something, which I won't be able to like until after Grand Arena is over. But that's besides the point. It'd be cool, but I'm uh, not gonna hold my breath. Well, that was rude. Now Dark Troopers, the <laughs> Mandalore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good grief. Okay, so Hera has potency, crit damage, crit avoidance, tenacity boosted. Not everything it's like debuffs, they deal extra max health damage. Apparently Sidious has a good win ratio against this team. Um, uh, sure, why not? We'll do it. I really don't have any plans for Sidious elsewhere anyways. Wait, what was the data from? Just... Oh yeah, that's what I want. I have two Sidious Krons. Wasn't really intention, but with how few city uh, city Sith options there are. You gotta make do with what you are given. 
Um. Hmm. That was a very cash money. Okay, we need to get Kanan knocked out, most likely. Because of his constant debuff dispelling. Or is it because of Captain Rex? I can't remember. Okay, no, we... Okay, yeah, we definitely need to get rid of someone. Um... Realistically, who could we get rid of the easiest? Maybe Hera? That is, if she doesn't recover protection in the meantime. Or Kanan taunts. Okay. Uh, okay, Rex, you're really starting to piss me off, buddy. Maybe I should put more offense on Sidious' Kron. Like, if the... If the dots could stick, they'll die. But the problem is, is they're not sticking. Because every time they get a turn, they immediately get cleansed off. So it's like... Can't really do much. Okay, there we go. Now they can't cleanse anymore. Get fucked. You stalled out long enough. Captain Rex, you're not going to be able to help your teammates anymore. Oh, wait, no, it's... Is it Rex's? I don't remember. Can you please just die, Captain Rex? Nope, apparently not. Okay. Nope, we're not going to hit auto because that's not going to help me. Okay, Kanan's down. Now for Captain Rex. There we go. Okay, well that was... That was silly. Just constant cleansing. Not a fan of that. Not a fan. But it's okay. It... Oof, I just popped my shoulder. It is what it is. Um, let's see. Bad Batch. Uh, yeah... Okay. Let's get rid of B2 first. Because we can keep Droidica under some levels of control. But I prefer B2 dying so I always keep dispelling all my buffs. Okay, let's do this. And then... Yep, of course it rolls out. Okay, B2's down for the first time, at least. Let's call Hunter again, so maybe he kills... Nice. Of course, not a problem. Didn't it just lose... The... I thought it lost the, uh... I could have sworn it had lost the, um... Damage me. Oh, well, whatever. It's not the biggest of worries. It's gonna die. Or <laughs> it's gonna dodge at the last second. Okay. Okay, game. Whatever. Okay. Um. Eh, sure, why not? Looks like a data problem with this team. I don't know how well it'll go, but we will give it a shot in the dark. As I say, I say that as I still have three GLs on the bench. We can get rid of 8th brother before we can armor shred. That'd be spectacular. Okay, his stun's still annoying, but I take a stun over a dead Chewie. Uh, 
Go ahead and get rid of that. Let's do this. And then blap. And voila. I thought about doing the private team and then the Grand Inquisitor team separately. But I'm like, eh. Why risk it? Why risk it? Let's just kill him. With as much undue hatred as humanly possible. And yes, I have been handicapping myself by not taking in data cards with these teams. Makes it a little bit more balanced between the two two uh, teams here. Because, like I said, most of his teams now, well, I think all of his teams now don't have any data cards, but yeah. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Um... No, I didn't want C-3PO. I was looking for a cat. Honestly, gonna feel like I'm racking up a crit score. And now we hit auto because the crew gone. Not crew. OG Kyle. Good for you. Not even crew. Without OG Kyle, I don't have to worry as much about this team going ballistic. I mean, yeah, first order TIE Fire Pilot is annoying, but yeah. Jedi split. Where is Oda? Um, what Jedi do we have? Yeah, sure. Why not? I know I haven't posted like the end of last week's Grand Arenas, but I may post the one from my main as like an end of the season kind of like afterthought video. I don't know. Or something just to you know just to have out there because this is very rage inducing mostly because of datacrons you know doing datacron things so we'll see i mean i probably will but i still haven't made up my mind about it just have not made up my mind on it you know Correctly, this guy does like full meta fleet defenses, so we do have that to look forward to once we get back there in a second, or once I get to doing those fights in a second, I should say. So dream you, goodbye, Grievous, and now we're just poor B1, all by his lonesome. check leads. These will be the make or break of um, everything, honestly. Oh. Okay, so it's not... Ooh, but he has a Relic 9 Sass. That's an interesting choice. You don't have Relic 8 or Relic 9 even on Malgus or the Marauder, but you do have it on Sass, which, I mean, makes sense, honestly. If you wanted a Relic 9 anyone out of the Sith fleet, you kind of need Sass to really get your team rolling. Because of the fact that, you know, she helps with the team's boost and all that. That team relies on really getting rolling. Or rocking and rolling, especially in Mirrors. Okay, so we lost that. Okay, so we didn't lose the coin flip from my Sass going first. I wonder what the speed of his Sith Fighter is then, because I know if you don't have full 6 dot mods, that also is a deciding factor in it. Like in your ship's speed. 
Obviously, if you have full six dot mods on a pilot, that greatly, not greatly, but it does benefit them because it gives them, uh, like, one or some extra speed or whatever, which is definitely not something to really ignore. Because you really want your ships to be going fast, going first in the first place. So you want to have them be a little faster is always better than not faster. Okay, let's blow up their hangers. Um, let's see. I don't know who those are going to land on. Uh, good, good. Uh, let's go for Sass. Okay, I was about to say we should be good to go now. Should, because who knows where they are in terms of their ult. Okay, we're gonna still keep going for their Sith Assassin. Because the quicker she's gone, the better. And now, if I get a turn in edgewise, I get to take over the ship. So... this point there's really not much they can do. I mean other than the AI constantly picking stupid moves like throwing the bombs on them whenever they have tenacity <laughs> up. Like, okay game, that seems really stupid to do, but you do you, I guess. Hey, at least they know to go for this. Uh, interceptor. At least they knew the right person to knock out first. <clears throat> okay, uh, we got to do some rebel shenanigans. Got Xanadu knocked out. And we got IG knocked out. That is. That's a first. Because normally I do not have that kind of luck. Like, at all. Oh, there's the Rebel Fleet I know and load. Starting to get no assist. Let's breach stop. Okay, that doesn't really answer my question, but. No, I was about to say, does it stop assisting? But no, my ships just don't want to assist one another. So there's two completely different things. Good. Razor press is down. Now it's just four pounds tooth. I guess I really didn't need to bring in the reinforcements on my ship, but you never know. You just, I never know with these rebels, so they don't want to risk it. Okay, and now we contend with the resistance scum. They're actually not that bad anymore. They got the fleet got better with the comeuppance. I still need to finish farming that fleet. Well, not fleet that ship. But the problem is, I need relic mats. So yeah, the age-old conundrum of what do you do? Do you do ship farm or you just keep chugging along on uh, relic mats? Very difficult.
Okay, Buster. I didn't need you to actually, you know. Oh boy. Okay. Now for Ray. To take her 17 turns. And I imagine this is yep, the comeuppance. And they immediately annihilated my boba. Nifty. Very nifty. I was trying to get a mark thrown on him. Or her, sorry. Okay. Let's see how I did. Oof. <clears throat> so, Georgie Boy did one fight. I actually don't know what against, to be completely honest with you. Oh, against Ray. And I guess killed Ben, and that was it. And called it good because yeah, I put up 2072 against him because of the fact, you know, he doesn't didn't have any DCs at all. So, that definitely didn't help matters for him. But, um, yeah, it is what it is. I'm not going to be like, aha, that's a great victory. It's more like. I feel bad because of the GAC matchmaking throwing him up against me, but we can only blame CG. But anyways, uh, if y'all enjoyed, don't forget to hit like and hit subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. I hope you have a good rest of your day.